Hello and welcome to our latest installment where we are learning the use of cut here. As uh, I urge you to go to our previous videos once again as it will be helpful in creating further drawings as well. In our previous videos we have gone through uh, different drawings uh, that will be uh, drawing and we have used in the sketcher pentagon, hectagon and uh, also an octagon in our previous videos we have learned about it. Uh, today, however, our focus will be on triangles. Uh, so, what are the different types of triangles? And which are the triangles that we will be drawing? And uh, how to use triangles? Uh, we will be learning today. So, first things first, let us begin up by opening one of the planes. So, let us open plane by Z. And after opening plane by Z, clicking on the OK in the position schedule option. Uh, here we have a system uh, as we all know that we have given the grids of uh, so the grids won't be visible to us uh, you can keep the grids on as well uh, as we have seen uh, so let us start off uh, drawing first of all an acute angle triangle uh, an acute angle triangle is a triangle uh, the, of which uh, all the triangles are of uh, less than 90 degrees now uh, we need to know the basic geometry of a triangle uh, and that is uh, the sum of all the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees so remember the sum of all angles in a triangle is indeed 180 degrees uh, and when we are constructing an acute angle triangle uh, all the three angles of a triangle are less than 90 degrees so uh, let us focus on what is an acute angle triangle uh, let us uh, draw an acute angle triangle uh, by using the profile option here we have it we'll keep one of the bases uh, horizontal and here it is as we can see uh, all the angles present here are of uh, different dimensions so let us first of all name this dimension this angle uh, we'll name it as uh, 40 degree Let this angle be 60 degree, 60 degree, and we don't have to then uh, define this very particular angle because this will automatically be uh, 80 degree as we have learned uh, that the sum of all angles in a triangle is indeed 180 degree. So if I uh, try to constrain this angle, it will become violet. And here it is, it becomes violet because it is over constrained. We don't have to define all the uh, angles as we mentioned. I'll just reconstruct it back to 60 degree. And here it is, this is an acute angle triangle. The sum of all the angles is 180 degree, and uh, none of the angle is uh, 90 degree or more. So, this is how we construct an acute angle triangle. So, our next focus will be on an obtuse angle triangle so what is an obtuse angle triangle uh, here it is uh, as we all know uh, that the sum of all the angles uh, in the triangle is 180 degree uh, one of the angles in the obtuse angle triangle has to be more than 90 degrees so uh, it will certainly look something like this yeah i will mention it just make sure that uh, this it's constrained and this is how we will be joining up so here it is uh, this is an uh, obtuse angle triangle so in an obtuse angle triangle one of the angles is indeed more than 90 degrees so let us see in this manner as we can see 109 degree this is okay uh, so the rest of the two angles uh, actually form to be uh, less than 90 degree in combined so if I define this angle you can see it is 37 degrees whereas if I try to give it we don't have to mention the third angle because it will by default be created the dimensions will become violent but you can see uh, it is somewhat 32.632 the third angle so it is uh, always important that uh, you know the basic geometry this is how we construct an obtuse angle triangle. Our next option is uh, 
another triangle that is the right angle triangle now what is a right angle triangle in a right angle triangle uh, one of the angles is always 90 degrees so uh, this is where we apply the Pythagoras theorem as well so we will construct a 90 degree angle triangle uh, we will need vertical and uh, horizontal line directly both the lines represented by blue lines and then making sure that uh, this triangle occupies some area two lines passing through every point as well and the angle between two of the sides is 90 degree here we can see it it is indeed 90 degree we don't have to define it as 90 degree because the lines are already vertical and horizontal so it is perpendicularity so we can just simply delete that 90 degree option so here we have it a right angle triangle which is already present here uh, here we can see so uh, this is how we construct a right angle triangle uh, there is a different type of right angle triangle in combine an acute angle triangle plus a right angle triangle can also be constructed as we can see i will show you so there are some triangles so here we can see it is a combination of two triangles a right angle triangle here this is another right angle triangle and this hole is indeed a triangle as well However, this is an open sketch because uh, there are three lines passing through this very particular point. So uh, we can't construct this type of triangle. Uh, just keep make sure that every single point has two lines or two curves passing through it. Third one is not allowed. So it will keep the sketch open. So we will delete it. So this is how we construct uh, this type of triangle. So we have learned how what is an acute angle triangle, obtuse angle and what is a right angle triangle how to construct those angles triangles big pardon uh, our next triangle will be an isosceles triangle now what is an isosceles triangle as we all know uh, a triangle has uh, three sides an isosceles triangle is something uh, in which uh, two sides of a triangle are of same length that is they are congruent so uh, let us draw uh, an isosceles triangle Um, click here and then I will keep this book lens as 70. I keep clicking on 70, enter, and then I will click on this one. It doesn't matter what length the third side is, uh, only thing is that uh, the isosceles triangle has uh, two sides equal as well. So, this is an isosceles triangle, as we can see. It doesn't matter what is the length of the third side, as you can see it is 81 points somewhat. Uh, but more importantly, this is an isosceles triangle and this is how we construct. By giving the dimension, double clicking on the dimension and then um, making the constraints. So this is an isosceles triangle. A next triangle is an equilateral triangle. Now, what is an equilateral triangle? A triangle who has all its three sides of equal length, also a triangle which has all its angle of equal lengths. Now, uh, if we make a simple geometry, the 180 degree is what a triangle measures. Now, if all the angles of a triangle are equal, that is, if we keep that unknown angle as x, then x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree, 3x is equal to 180 degree, and therefore x is equal to 60 degree. So that x is nothing but the angle of a equilateral triangle. So uh, the angle in an equilateral triangle is indeed 60 degree. So let us construct an equilateral triangle. So first of all, we will draw it. An equilateral triangle itself uh, suggests that it is of equal lengths. There is an equiangular triangle, which is also uh, an equilateral triangle in itself, but we will construct it later on. So, equilateral triangle, uh, we will click on the lens, we will keep it as 80, pressing on 80, and then we will press on the other side, and on this side will be of 80 as well. 
I'm going to find one for that, which is 080. And 8080 again. So this is an equilateral triangle. Now here we can see we have that equilateral triangle. So this is how uh, we are going to work with an equilateral triangle which has all the lengths uh, 80. However, the angles are also 60 degree. We will learn how it is 60 degree uh, because it is an equilateral triangle. So as we have drawn an equilateral triangle, uh, how to actually you mark the centers of these triangles as it will be important for us to know which are the different methods to draw. Uh, again, uh, a simple procedure as we have learned. We will take one of the vertices, uh, we will take this point and then we will draw a perpendicular down here. So this will be one of the lines. We will draw another perpendicular from here to this line. And this is where the two lines will be intersecting. This point will actually be uh, the center of the rectangle. As we can say, we, we have marked the center. And once we have marked the center, it is viable that we delete these lines because that will create an open profile. So here it is, uh, we have marked the center as well. If I create uh, a relationship with this line, here it is. And then I try to move this point, the entire figure will also get moved. I need to double constrain it by the way. There it is. And now once I try to move the point, the entire geometry moves as well. So this is how we create an equilateral triangle with center as well. So let us next of all learn what is an equiangular triangle. Actually, it is also an equilateral triangle as well. But more importantly, this time we will constrain it by giving the angles. We will actually uh, name uh, just profile one of the lengths uh, that is we will keep it as 80. And then we will uh, give all the three angles. Double clicking there. And there it is, uh, we will keep it 60 degree as it is an equiangular triangle. Similarly, this triangle will also be 60 degree. So we don't have to further constrain it because we have given three constraints. If I uh, mark this angle, uh, it will be violet because uh, the third angle is by default 60 degree and the rest of the sides being in equilateral triangle will be 80 as well. So we have learned uh, what is an equilateral triangle today. Uh, in the next videos we will be learning what are the different types of quadrilaterals as well and which are the most important quadrilaterals as well. Uh, do join us in our next video and thanks for watching and have a great day.